Good morning, day, afternoon, evening, night, folks. I'm Ivan Dude Zero, and it's time for y'all to kick off those shoes, sit back, relax, make yourself at all. It's time to enjoy some more Evil Land 2. So, last time we left off, we uh, burned down an entire village. <laughs> well, island, really. Um, so, yeah, we're uh, terrible people, I guess. Anyway, now that's been established. Uh, and I am going to see if I can figure out. Um, there is one more... I think I know where to get one more uh, fragment of the key. Uh, no, I need to go to the future. Just a second. Okay, so we're back. Um, so, now I'm back in the Windy Valley. In the Windy Valley. Um, so, as you guys may remember, there is a megalith here. And... Oh, someone's calling me. Shut up, phone. So... Uh, as you guys may remember, there is a megalith here uh, that was down in the Magi ruins that they let us go to since uh, they couldn't find our flying machine that they had kept for us and then was stolen. Which I'm pretty sure, actually, you know, it may have been stolen by us. I don't know, thinking about time too much makes my brain hurt, so... <laughs> this megalith seems distinctive. I'm a bit worried it could send us somewhere perilous. What if we end up in a volcano or at the bottom of the ocean? What do you say, Jesse? Should we take the plunge? Yes. Whatever you say. So I believe I remember where this takes us. Impressive. You have the fragment of nature. Sometimes I'd like to remove myself from time, like the Sylphs did. But I know it would only be an eternal, an eternal prison. And what I need, and what I need, it, what? Huh? I think it's supposed to say what I need is. <laughs> nice typo. And what I need is the ultimate freedom. Come and see me if you need more information on the fragments of the Magi key. Uh, this is a very long... Oh, there we go. <laughs> this is a very long loading screen. Anyway, we are in the distant past now. Where'd we end up this time? It looks rather unlike my time, in any case. Whoa! Astounding! Find something, Jones? It's a miracle! We're actually in the era of the Magi! Are you certain, Miss Jones? Of course I'm certain! These stones are textbook Magi era, but look at them! They're like new, freshly cut, well maintained. We could meet actual Magi- gosh, I can't get over this! How long I've dreamt of getting all my questions answered! And now, it's a real possibility! What sort of questions do you have? There are so many. Where do I start? Where their knowledge derives from, what they believed in, and, and most of all, why they mysteriously vanished. Their civilization produced so many marvels, and they were capable of time travel, no less. What could have happened? Guess we'll have to find out. I really hope there's no talk of a great disaster here. Miss Eve is right. We had best explore this area for ourselves. Is this a dream? Oops, sorry, I'm bumping everything. Oh gosh, listen to that music. Whoo, baby! You are clad in strange dress. Aha, uh -huh. there is a half-man among you. Then you must hail from the Molecular Research Center. There, uh... Those people are all a little screwy, if you ask me. <laughs> Very kind of you. Good work. This is one of the prime locations of anomaly-centered research. We study its properties and then come up with amazing inventions. Oh, yeah, they got their technology off of what's called the anomaly in their time. Uh, the megaliths were designed using data taken from the anomaly. However, they are not yet operational. Perhaps one day we'll be free to roam the timescape, as we, as it were. Uh, I don't... Is this supposed to talk to you? The anomaly goes as far back as our oldest records. We've only spent the last few decades analyzing the makeup. The data must have been eliminating. Perhaps our research will be used to prevent the end of time. 
Oh yeah, they were concerned that the anomaly is going to cause the end of time, and you, you guys will see why in a bit here, but... Some of our colleagues say that time travel should be restricted, warning against the potential repercussions. But we have highly secure protocols. A temporal modification could never happen. After all, we're only interested in collecting data, not in altering the fabric of time. That's what you think now. But anyway, if you guys will also remember, this is the uh, time in which the game started in the tutorial. So, I hope that piques a couple people's interest here and makes you start thinking. But, um, do I have a... I do have a boat, okay. I can't remember if I still have my boat here, but... That's the anomaly, that big old spiral in the, uh, in the ocean. Um, so, um, where the ground is here, like where we came up at here, um, this island is, uh, what's this island called? Temporal Research, okay. Yeah, so that time, this island here is basically the, uh, the mainland we would have known of. And this down here would have been that icy continent that I boated around in another episode. This is the Magic Library. Is there anything we need here? Honestly, I don't remember. Hey, Jesse! This is a library! I mean, it must be THE Library of the Magi! The one said it contained the entirety of Magi knowledge and understanding! Please, oh please! Please let me look around, please! Thank you! Alright. Uh, if you're looking for a ticketed book, talk to press Professor gaggle. <laughs> wow. I'll point you in the right direction. He is in a a, a, a memory? Hmm. How do they come up with these weird names? Uh, you are at the Great Magi Library. For the sake of other patrons, please refrain from talking. Also, chocolate and invisibility cloaks are strictly forbidden. Man, why is every library in such a killjoy? Uh, I feel like there's something I need to do here. Much has been written about the end of time. Most Magi strongly believe the event is nigh. As a result, peer research has advanced has advanced light years in a short time. I happen to be a skeptic. If time should meet its end, it shall happen. But I see no reason to believe it shouldn't carry on as it always has. Hopefully he's right about that. Well, I mean, obviously time never stopped because we're in the distant past. You know, compared to what we were anyway. Uh, you. You know you talk to? Good day, miss. How may I be assistance? It just so happens I came into possession of a book some time ago. I'm afraid I don't understand all of it. Would you be willing to help me decipher it? A book, you say? May I see it? Yes, here it is. My word! It's stupendous! This is a full treatise on the science of cold. It makes some fascinating assertions. Might I make a copy? Sure. Thank you. Mr. Gaggle, please! Yes, Anarchivist? What can I do for you? Quickly, commit this work to memory and then make a full copy, please. Right away, sir. Not to worry. The schedule... This should take the schedule. Wow. Woo, wow, I'm getting some crazy uh uh I forget what the what the word is. When you get letters mixed up. That. Yeah. <laughs> Not to worry, this should take but a moment. I'm all done, sir. Thank you, Mr. Gaggle. That will be all. Thank you kindly for contributing to the Great Library. It will surely take a number of years, but we shall eventually decode these equations. And that will enable us to replicate conditions of extreme cold. We will, of course, have carefully have to carefully monitor the reactions. Wouldn't want to freeze the entire island by accident, ha <laughs> Lol. <laughs> so that's how it ends up at an island of ice. At any rate, by way of thanks, you have my approval to use this oh wait, by any at any rate. By way of thanks, you have my approval to use this research center's large, large Hyperion cannon. You'll find it rather fun. But take care not to send any old things into the anomaly. So the, Hyper the Hyperion cannon was the cannon that we saw on that island that we uh, originally were on. Um, that was pointed towards the anomaly. So basically you can shoot stuff into it. 
I don't remember exactly what that does, but... Anyway, uh, I believe there's one more place I want to go check out before we leave. Or before we, uh, go continue on here. So, hop in a boat and let's get going! Um, so... I don't think there's any place down to the left. So you go up to the right. This is... This is the Pirate Isle. Er... No, this is, uh, Magi Isle. Hey, little robots. Construct, build, enlarge, destroy? No, not destroy. Um, yeah, this is the Magi Isle, okay. Cool. I, I, I kinda have an idea where we're at now. Instead of attempting to travel through time, they should be devoting their energy to saving it. When time is no more, we won't be traveling anywhere. Yeah, so basically they were in the mindset that they were facing the end of days because the anomaly. Um, I, I don't remember. Yeah, yep. I don't remember if it was like they thought that it was gonna like continue to grow and like eat the entirety of everything or what. I don't exactly remember. I'm sure I could find out if I talked to everyone, but pff, ain't nobody got time for that. Um, so this is Demonia, I think, up in this area. Could be wrong. Yeah, I believe this is Demonia. Um, this is the Molecular Research... Yeah! Access to the Molecular Research Center is restricted to authorized personnel only. Oh! It's you? You're already back. It's fine, you can go through. Hmm. Look familiar? In addition to our research on creating new life forms, our studies on time manipulation are proceeding well. If all goes according to plan, we should be able to prevent the Great Calamity. Some of the greatest scientists are working on in the Anomaly Research Center. It's quite a shame the research hasn't been fully applied due to the library due to the library's overzealous board of ethics. Luckily, we don't have the same kinds of restrictions. Yeah, who needs ethics? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, are you new here as well? I was just accept I was just accepted into the Molecular Research Center. It's amazing what they're doing here. Wouldn't you agree? This is a world. This is world-changing stuff. You're a newbie too. Would you happen to know what goes on in the sub-level by any chance? I don't have access to that area, but it seems. But it sure seems incredible. I might. I think we're about to go find out. Apparently, I was recognized at the door. So, oh, hey, there's ah. Haha! <laughs> you, Jatai! Here are some of our most beautiful creations. These creatures can harness energy from nature and then store it biologically for us to siphon at will. All thanks to the miracle of molecular science. So that's Jatai, that's... Another one of the Guardians, I don't... don't really know. Uh... Well, there's the Tree Guardian. With the help of these creatures, We'll have a near limitless amount of energy at our disposal. Likely a sufficient amount to sustain our major project. Ah, yes, this one. Tiny Tiki has gotten big, don't you think? At this rate, he'll be as big as one of the old Dark Age continents. Then he will generate enough energy all on his own. Who knows? Maybe he can even swallow the anomaly. Yeah, I'm trying to recognize all of these because I think they all appear somewhere or another in the game, but I could be wrong. I know that at least uh, this dude down here is Jatai for sure. This one is the tree that we fought in the beginning in the forest. The rest of them I'm not too sure about. Ah, here are the first demons. Those new hybrids are wonderful, aren't they? They'll certainly make good servants. So yeah, that's the origin of the demon. They were indeed magi constructs. But access to sub level restricted to authorized staff. Access granted. So yeah, we are, uh, who are we? That's the question. I don't, I honestly don't completely remember myself. I've spent the better part of my life planning this project. With any luck, I'll see it put in, in motion within my lifetime. You know, there's still so much to do. At the most crucial junctures, you have to make tough decisions, G. We're counting on you to keep the project alive. Uh, do you realize what the screen could do? Since we completed to nothing short of immortality. 
the way I managed to remove the stone of time from the anomaly, all of this would have been inconceivable. Uh... So yeah, they took the stone of time from the anomaly, that helped, you know, with their reason. Yeah, this is what should look quite, um, quite familiar to you guys. This is where we started. So, we are from the Magi time. We are essentially trying to, uh, I, I don't exactly know what our project was, um, but essentially we're suffering, for, suffering from amnesia when we got back. Um, or when we got into, uh, into, I guess, the present. So, I don't exactly know what what's going on with the story with that. I just been a long time, I don't remember. Um, but, yeah. We are, uh, now into the, the Magi era, which is kind of cool, because it's, uh, I like how they, uh, how they changed this to kind of like, um, I, I guess like the original Game Boy from, you know, back in the day. Uh, kind of graphics, which I think is kind of interesting. It's also like super like 8-bit music like more so than the past even I think uh, I suppose it might share the same music as the past. I guess I don't really remember. I can't really tell but I Don't know. I just think it's kind of funny how they did what they did with the uh, with the graphics It's also kind of cool to see like talking to some of the people and seeing some of the flavor text to kind of kind of you know see what happened and why and where and all that kind of stuff um, but Let's, uh, let's go use the cannon. You wish to know what the cannon is for? We call it the Large Hyperion Cannon. It's quite simple. We use the LHC to send various objects into the anomaly. Afterwards, we examine the temporal output at its horizon. Would you like to send something into the anomaly using the LHC? Ah, you've received approval from the Anarchivist at the Great Library? Well. If you do have the approval of the Board of Temporal Ethics, it shouldn't be a problem. Would you like to launch the anomaly? <laughs> oh, good. Look at our options. I'll go. Now, are you serious? Y you actually want to be launched into the anomaly from the LHC. Very well. And everyone ought to be able to choose how they die, I suppose. <laughs> Ready? I've got a bad feeling about this. Fire! Pew! Oh, it's all futury and stuff now. Jesse! Are you okay? He is merely unconscious, Miss Eve. It seems to me we're in the heart of the anomaly. Yeah, it feels awful strange here. It's sort of warped. Most likely caused by the temporal frequencies. This place appears to somehow bend reality. Jesse! It, it worked! Come on, all we've got to do is find the, mag the Magi Key Fragment. But we have little certainty it's even in this location. True. Still, I'm itching to see what's up ahead. Alright, so, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this one here. I'm gonna experience all the trippiness that is the warping of time in, uh, in this area, so. Anyway, thank you folks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like for me to so I know. Subscribe if you want, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.